welcome listener. This is the internet is a toilet. Today we're going to be checking back in on the wonderful wide world of people that shouldn't be broadcasting. From not being entertaining to I don't even know what the hell is going on sometimes. We've got a good assortment today. Quick plug, there's a podcast called Who Are These Podcasts? Like I said in the last podcast, Potpourri, episode 6, I have all these clips because I tried to find Cringe of the Weeks for WATP. And not all of them can get played. So you guys get the leftovers. First, let's start from the beginning and check out a few podcast intros. This first intro is from the podcast OK Stupid, and it's totally okay to sing your own podcast theme. If you can sing. Oof. Well, coming in not much better is the intro song for Your Artificial Friends. When the people that you know don't like you and your treasured friendship said for me off to into this podcast we're your artificial friends. It's like Jimmy Page. He never plays it the same way twice. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Jimmy Page. All right, enough with intro songs. Some podcasts start with ads. Here's You've Got Murder. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? Did you hear that? Maybe next time you should try finish going pee-pee first. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? Time to take a piss. And then there's other times you start a podcast off by getting the listener's attention. Like teasing this star-studded lineup of comedians we all know and love so much. Here's Tom Myers versus the world. Joining us tonight are Jeff Heisen, Abby Mello, Michelle Wojcikowski, Linda Landeros, David Kay, Sidney Allen, Lucy Strassball, Chelsea Carr, JJ Boyd, Shireen Kassam, Ward Morrow, and Amy Siskin. Rusty, welcome. Hi. I grew up in a haunted house as well. Yes. And the things that I saw have really affected me as an adult because when I was a kid at our house, we saw ghosts, we saw poltergeists, apparitions, vampires, um, and werewolves, wow. and witches, and swamp creatures, and gremlins, and ghoulies, and demons, and spiders. Okay, moving past intros, but keeping the topic of getting the listener's attention, this podcast, Claire at the Store, is far from boring. Just, well, here. Even if she quit her job as a barista, she'd still be required to provide extraneous services, which covered a lot of areas without pay. The worst extraneous service, so far, had been the month she'd had to spend drinking piss out of cocks in the men's bathroom. Every size, shape, color, and stank of cock shoved into her mouth, where she had to suck just gently enough to swallow the piss without getting them too hard to piss. And since it was a coffee shop, every man in the place had to piss constantly. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? (laughs) Yep. All right. At least that was fictional erotica. This next story comes from Just Your Average Channel Podcast. And I hope this story is fictional, too. Uh, creepiest thing that ever happened to me was the pizza guy to live, uh, developed a crush on me. He actually knew my aunt. Well, he found out who my aunt was. And, like, like when my aunt died, I was at the bar with my family. And he came up to me and was like, I'm sorry about your loss. Then when he finally was like, so do you want to, like, date or something? I was like, nah, dude, I'm in a relationship. And he was like, oh, well, you know, live out and proud. And I was like, what the fuck, man? And then he killed himself. And I'd like to think he killed himself because I rejected him. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oof. He didn't sound like he was trying to be an edgelord and definitely doesn't come off as one. Just kind of a... Lying piece of sack of shit, slut trash can, scummiest dirt bag. For the sake of my brain, I'm going to hope that was a lie. A stupid one. But fingers crossed, a real one. This next clip, however, is the truth. It's the news. It's what everybody's talking about. 
Did anyone hear about Arby's newest addition to its menu? I'll give you a hint, it has to do with potatoes. And if you're thinking fries, you are correct. After testing crinkle cut fries in 2020, the quick service chain has officially added them to their menu nationwide. Research from Data Central shows crinkle cut fries increased by 10% on menus in the last year and by 41% in the past four years and are predicted to grow by an additional 15% in the next four years. Cool! Hell yeah! Shit yeah! Thank you, Potato Cast. That's some exciting news! My heart is racing! Woof! Okay, I gotta calm down. Gotta calm down. Let's calm down with an improvised song about being at the museum. Okay, you just you paid your way, or if you're a member, you just kind of flash your, your card, <laughs> and then you put in your headphones, Boop. and you start walking into the gallery. of colors I see blue I see green I see yellow mm, I see purple I see red I see pink Now put this on a loop for 45 minutes or more However long you, you need we guide you peaceful peaceful <laughs> now i feel like people are gonna need a longer version of that no thank you this podcast is called song a week by don't stop or we'll die this however is not even this episode's song a week sometimes they just improvise random crap throughout the episode before they play the real song a week if you heard that would you want to stick around the other 20 minutes to hear the song a week or would you just run away screaming? Good choice. Another good idea is to prepare and trim the fat or simply edit like crazy from the heat needs to learn how to do. Question. What? Are we both on that same dial? So No. Two different dials. Down in the left hand corner. Where I'm peeking right there. Yeah. You're not peeking. Okay. See how you're talking? Yeah. Your mic's hotter than mine. Remember? We're both on the same one. Uh, no, I'm not. See? I'm number two, bub. Oh, okay. So why am I so much lower than yours? See? I'm talking. See how low I am? No, you're number one. I'm number two. You're, you're input number one. Okay. And I'm... See how it's not peaking? Watch this. But... Yeah, so when you're talking normal, talk normal. Talk, talk, talk. See how high you are? And see how low I am? Oh, you mean on the actual track. What are you talking about? This is the most boringest episode ever. You guys are nerds. And lastly, my brother and me, the podcast. Let's talk about barbecues. You come to a family cookout, your nipples is out, your butt cracks out, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, look at it. Of, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I definitely see where you're coming from because older generation Caverdian exactly. men, and I'm not trying to stereotype, they're gross. Yeah. And exactly they will make it known that they are attracted to you. And I feel like men in our culture now, they're definitely more respectful yeah. of like a woman who has her yeah. nipples out. They're not yeah. going to come up to you and be like, oh, you, you, your nipples are looking good right now. Your nipples are looking good right now. Again, the content from today's show came from my enjoyment of Who Are These Podcasts, the podcast. Sometimes I just find myself with five or six clips a week, and they all can't get played. But all these podcasts that we've listened to today can be found on most major podcast apps, which are fueled by the internet, therefore proving the internet is a toilet. Subscribe on every podcast app that you can to The Internet is a Toilet and leave reviews with your family's friends and co-workers' phones. Find me on Twitter, toilet.com, T-O-I-L-E-T, D-O-T-C-O-M, and find me there. Tell me about some shitty shit on the internet that you know about that I may not. But until then. Bye, have a great time.